So let's uh, look at some of the examples of cancer screening methods. First, as a mammography. So that mammography looks like this. So it has a, they use a not a strong, but a low energy, relatively low energy x-ray. And here's the instrument for putting a breast, but making the 3D breast into a little bit more like 2D like. So there's a compression plate and with a cassette plate containing this uh, film. So this is how things work for mammography. And um, the result will be like, if there's a cancerous then and versus normal. Uh, in untrained eye, it may not be very easy and obvious to look at it. So, and also the other uh, issue for this mammography is uh, Asian versus uh, Western uh, breast might have a different density or um, uh, uh, different uh, characteristics. So mammography along with a physical breast uh, examination such as palpation to find any lump inside the breast is the modality of the choice for screening for early breast cancer. However, this mammography has about 10% of missed cancer which means uh, it, let's say it shows as a normal. However, there may be 10% of them may have uh, uh, a true tumor. So false negative, uh, so this is not perfect yet. So what about other uh, example as a endoscopy? So a good example of endoscope is a colonoscope. So it's, which is uh, looking at colon. So this is a colon from the, uh, the cecum, ascending, transverse, and descending, and the sigmoidoscope. Sigmoid, uh, the, the term is coming from the S shape. So that S shape until it becomes, uh, uh, enters into rectum. So this colonoscope is kind of hollow, flexible uh, type of a scope which you, you look at the tip side, um, so it first has a illumination light. So there's a light illumination and there's a video camera lens. And you know, the video camera lens has to be cleaned to tape videotapes. So there's a, a water irrigation channels here. Also, when we find a precancerous lesion, which is called a polyp, so that looks like this then uh, we use this instrument channel to send an instrument which will uh, take this one off. So that is called here a uh, snare uh, with a, a cautery. Cautery means it sends out the electric current to, to burn out, the, to cut the tissue by heat. Okay, so you look at this polyp, and uh, intestinal fold, this colonoscope send out the instrument, a snare, and then take out this, uh, remove this uh, polyp. So, however, this colonoscope only works for colon. So what if there's a lesion of, or problem inside a small intestine? Then we may want to use a more modern uh, ways. So that is an example as a, 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 a pill. So pill cam here as a, this is a high tech. So I brought it here. So it's like a, a, like a, a eating a small a pill. So the size is only about 11 millimeter diameter and length is about three centimeter. And once you, the patient intake, it takes about eight hours throughout this uh, process of getting into the stomach and small intestine and going through this parasitic motion and coming out of uh, anus. So the colonoscope costs about $4,000 while this pill cam may cost much less. And so this is really an engineering approach to see inside uh, the, throughout this uh, gut. So how does it compose? Uh, I think this is, it's important to design this system. So it has a low powered uh, disposable wireless system, an optical dome. It has, uh, it needs in, in 
illumination, so a light array, about four small LEDs, and there needs a camera with called CMOS camera, uh, image sensor, which can take about four to five frames per second. And of course, it needs to send out those images outside of the body by using this uh, radio. And so it needs an antenna, uh, which has about 30 to 60 centimeter range, and to uh, uh, electrical source of batteries. And on the other side, there's another camera as well. So this is more modern uh, ways and it may be a cost reduction. So now many companies are trying to make this um, small, small pill uh, uh, endoscope. So this is an example of when this may be um, uh, useful. So a patient ha having a bleeding in, in their, um, in their uh, detected in their uh, stool, then a bleeding, internal bleeding might be suspected. However, with a colonoscope, doesn't find anything. So in that case, this peer can, um, or it's called capsule endoscope, capsule endoscope. So it enters into the patient mouth and going through, and then one realizes that, oh, in the duodenum, so that's um, inside the small intestine, they'll find a, a bleeding. So this can be very useful in this kind of uh, example. 